Well, hello there. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. This is My Yarning Life with God Rocks 2107, and my name is Esmeralda. So, why are we here today? Well, I participated in the um, uh, I forgot the name of the challenge. Anyway, it's with the Arm Chef and it's Lori. So, um, of course, all links will be down below. And the thing was, we swapped with someone else and then we created a project with whatever yarn was sent to us. And um, so I've had my projects completed for a little bit here and uh, I have finally had a chance to sit and record for you guys. So I will be showing you what I made. And the first thing I'm going to show you is, oh, I got the wrong label. Well, not the wrong label, but the other label is over there for the first blanket I was going to show you, but so I'll move along. But the label I do have, it was the Sweet Roll Sparkle. And the colorway, I believe, was bubblegum. It's an acrylic. Yes, bubblegum bubblegum sprinkle and this is the blanket I created with that yarn it was four cakes of it it's our soft here the bottom the first cake I used I made double crochets down here with this rib in between and then when I attached the other cake I finished off whatever what needed and then I did V stitches you can see there and I did the same thing finished that cake and then I did clusters right here oh no that's still V stitches here's the clusters right here you see that and then when I attached the last cake I finished off with the double crochets I didn't measure the blanket and I finished off with a uh, half a shell border I did straight edges here so I just slip stitched here and the top and bottom half the half shells and I can't stress enough <laughs> I freehand there is no pattern to this there is no tutorial I pictured it here and I crocheted it <laughs> so there's that one this next one is the one I forgot the label it's a sweet roll also but it's got the pastels colors in it um, this one was a bit more challenging because again I freehand all my work and I played with stitches and it was a lot harder to do with this one because it was in the round I've never done this before I've worked in the round to make beanies and a pillow, but I've never done a blanket. So it was a lot more challenging to play with stitches to make sure that everything worked. But here's the center of it. Again, no pattern. It just, it's pictured here, or not really. This one was just, I just went with the flow. But anyway, there is, there's the center of that. So there's uh, V stitches in here, there's half double crochets, there's some um, stuff here, <laughs> um, and uh, linen stitch. And then I bordered it up again with a half a shell. So, and it was three cakes of this, and with the leftover, I made a headband, because there were still some left over, and I wanted to make sure to use all the yarn so there's this blanket and then the next one was ice yarn which I've never worked with and I love it I love the feel everything the way it works up the only thing that um, is a struggle I think is just because of the type of the yarn that it is when you're doing your chain that's where it's difficult to see where your chain is because it almost like tightens up and this was, like I said, ice yarn. Mm, 
made in Turkey. Let's see what kind. It's called Puffy DK Polyamide, 100% Polyamide. And I made a, what's called a circular scarf. And this is a tutorial uh, from Love for Nails, I believe is her channel name. Raquel is her name. This is one that I've made before. Again, because of the type of yarn that it was, um, I wanted something that was going to be simple. And also because of the way the colors play out. I just wanted to use a simple stitch because I believe with a type of yarn like this, less is more, and I really like that. And with the rest, I made a hat to go with it. And it's really soft. I wouldn't mind working with this again um, in a solid color something. I, I would love to make me a wearable with this. But I've mentioned before, I struggle with their website. I don't like it. And there was a little bit left over, so I made a flower. And that's going to be sent off to someone that I watch. So, uh, and there was three, three little donuts of this. So that is all that I have. I still have a little bit more of that yarn. And I was going to make a hat, but it wasn't enough. So I used it to make that flower. Um, so I still have this left over. I don't know what I'll do with it. <laughs> but we'll see. Anyway. That's what I had for my uh, challenge. I wish I could remember the name, but of course it's going to be across the, not across the screen, but you know, where all the information is laid out. And my swap partner was uh, Charlene from Charlene's Crochet Corner. So I had fun. Thank you, Charlene, for the yarn. Um, I really wanted to make something a little different than I normally do uh, because... Um, this is not normal colors that I would work with. So, you know, my husband was like, this one here, he's like, reminds me of a baby blanket. So I thought, okay, I wanna do something. But again, I wanted to do something out of my comfort zone uh, because of the colors and just because it was a challenge. So I wanted to add that to the mix, okay? Not just creating something, but what I created, what I used it for. So again, there it is. And uh, I am happy with the way that turned out. So I'll show this one again. And this, the ridges is only in the front and you can't even, you could use it both ways. You can't even tell. It looks, it's flat. So, I guess you could say it's uh, reversible. <laughs> anyway, I enjoyed that. I had fun. It, uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. So, anyway, you guys, she is going to have um, pictures posted on her community page. Because I believe what she does is she'll post pictures and then people vote and then there's a winner at the end. So I would encourage you to go not only subscribe to her channel, she's fun, I love watching her, but go and check out the other talented people and see what they created and vote for who you feel. Um, you know, just have fun with it. This is, this is a fun thing and I was glad to be a part of it. So thank you, Lori, for uh, doing this. And uh, I look forward to the next one because I did uh, join for the next one. Um, I think it's a good motivator to really get the, the wheels going, you know, and, and get those creative juices um, going in that area. So yeah, go check her out. She is, uh, like I said, a lot of fun. She does food tasting and she gives you tips on, you know, uh, she works for the post office, so, um, yeah, and, uh, and she creates, and she, she's just fun. I like listening to her, um, I like seeing her, her little fur babies as well, so, anyway, go check her out, uh, the 25th, I believe, is when she's gonna post everything, but if you, uh, if you subscribe and hit that bell for her, you know, you'll know when, when she uploads all this stuff, and, It'll just be fun. It'll be fun to see everybody else's uh, work. And uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to get going here. Um, I have another 
another thing, uh, another thing, <laughs> something else to film um, for you, but I wanted to keep that separate. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are at. And uh, you'll definitely see me soon. So you guys have a good day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.